Hey folks, it's John P. with Geek Beat. We are here at the Inner Harbor in Baltimore. You know, Baltimore used to be like the murder capital of the United States, and I'm not even kidding, I'm totally serious. But they have been spending billions of dollars over the last decade to really fix this place up. We just parked, and we are heading into the Inner Harbor, which is like, I don't know, the most famous part of downtown Baltimore, and it's a harbor, as you'll see. It's full of all kinds of interesting art and architecture, and they've been really investing around here in little public spaces like this one. You'll see there's all kinds of uh, musical instruments out here that people can play. Back here, there's a beautiful greenery area, with, and they've got balls out here, so people are playing ball, um, and just, just a really nice, natural kind of environment behind the Inner Harbor, and we're going to head over that way next. Next stop on the tour of the Inner Harbor is the National Aquarium. Yeah, this is one of the biggest aquariums in the world. It's a magnificent building, isn't it? Yeah, well, guess what? It's not just this building. It's also that building across the way, and that building over there, the big red building, that's the Rainforest Building. This one stop here at the Inner Harbor is enough to occupy an entire day. So if you're heading out this way, make sure and set a day aside just for the, for the uh, National Aquarium. You're not going to regret it. Let's go. Okay, among the things to do at the Inner Harbor, they've got like an old maritime type museum. So they've got the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Tanny here, which is the last survivor of Pearl Harbor. And you can actually go on that bad boy and get all down in its guts and check it out. They've also got the Constellation, which is an, which is an old tall ship, uh, you know, sail driven. And uh, somewhere over there, they've got a lighthouse as well. And so you can get one ticket and you get to go aboard all these different vessels. In the background there, you're actually going to see it's got the Barnes and Noble and Hard Rock signs on it. That's actually the old Baltimore power plant from back in the day. So the smokestacks up there are no longer, you know, effective. They're not pumping out the junk, but uh, uh, that's how they used to power the city. Let's keep going. One of the other fun things about the Inner Harbor is the live entertainment. I'm telling you, right here in front of the Constellation, there's always someone singing, juggling, or doing something. So, even if you want, don't want to spend the money on the attractions, just came out, come hang out here, tip them a buck or two, and sit back and enjoy. Hey, okay, so next stop, we had to stop for dinner, lunch because, I mean, for God's sakes, we got like seven of us here and we're starving. So where did we go? My favorite restaurant, Bubba Gump's. That's right, it's just like the movie. I've been to almost every Bubba Gump's in the universe. Let me show you what's cool about Bubba Gump's. Hold this, Herwig's hand right here. They've got these paddles because, you know, he liked to play in the movies. He played ping pong, so you've got your paddle with all your drinks on it. And they've also got the Run, Forest, Run, and stop forest stop sign so whenever you need someone to stop at the table stop forest stop we've uh, already ordered a bunch of shrimp and you know they make every kind of shrimp you can get here so it's on its way uh, speaking of things that are on their way oh my strawberry lemonade I'll take that right about now thank you very much oh god these are good I'll tell you what else is good G Tech for sending us to New York on our streaming across America tour that's right folks if you have not yet picked up a G Connect drive, I'm telling you, you need to stop and get one. It's 500 gigs, it's Wi Fi, you can use it anywhere, like we've been using, all the way here in the car. It's amazing. Hey guys, it's Mark, and I am here at the beautiful Inner Arbor, Harbor of Baltimore. And uh, John P is inside Bubba Gump Shrimp. We couldn't get him out, he wanted a box of chocolates. So I found the next cutest, tallest white guy I could find. And uh, we're here with Trace for his annual appearance on Geekbeat. What's up, ladies? Nice. So I know in the comments you guys have been asking for more tech, and we brought you the trashiest of all the tech we could bring you. The trashiest of all the trash. A solar-powered trash compactor. Check it out. It's beautiful, it's green, and right next to it is a recycling bin because... Point the camera over here. You gotta recycle, foos. Alright, let's tell you some facts about this. Hit it, Trace. This has a solar panel on top of it, so they can... <laughs> Let's just do a flash cut. Let's do a flash cut. Take two. Ready? Do it, Norm. BigBellySolar.com. 
This has a solar panel on top of it to power the trash compaction within. It also has a transmitter that can tell all sorts of data about what's inside and how often it's used and whether they need to have more of them on the, on the inner harbor. And not only that, but it also tells you how trashy, trashy, trashy the people are being. But honestly, this is a pretty clean inner harbor, so I don't think they're being very trashy. But if you look down this way, they do have many more. They're keeping track of how Baltimore is, you know, throwing away their trash. And that's pretty cool. All about being more green, being more efficient, when people need to come and work and pick up the trash. And uh, that's about it. Let's Data. cut. I'm sure John's covering something, so we should probably cut to him now. Probably. Edit magic. Go. 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 Thanks, Mark. Okay, guys, we're about to wrap this video, but a couple more things you should see. First of all is the water taxi. Check it out right here. When you come to the Inner Harbor, you can take the water taxi over to Fort McHenry. You know, maybe we'll go to Fort McHenry next just because it's awesome. And number two, shopping galore. If seeing the ships, if seeing the aquarium, if playing around in the public parks and hanging out the water isn't enough for you, then you go on in there and get your shop on. And that's what we're about to do. We're going to go see what we can pick up from Baltimore, and then we're going to head out. So thanks for sticking around. Hey, you know what? Head over to YouTube.com forward slash GeekBTV and give this bad boy a thumbs up. Or give it a thumbs down if you thought that Mark's performance in the middle was a little bit weak. That's okay. He won't mind. Ken Tran is putting annotations on the video, so click right here to subscribe. Do it.